There was a fabric market in town yesterday and I was really excited. I headed over there looking for some fabrics or some projects that I had in mind. There are a few garments in my wardrobe that I want to remake for various reasons. For example, my favorite vintage skirt. I would love to remake in a bit of a bigger size because for the past few years, it has only fit me in the morning. <laughs> which is a definite sign that it's on its way out. And now that I've gone through pregnancy, I don't really expect I will ever fit back into that skirt again, but it was my absolute favorite item and I would wear it so often in autumn and winter. It's a very simple circle skirt. I Pretty sure it's, only, it's not even a full circle, maybe a three quarter or a half circle, but it was the perfect length, the perfect material with a beautiful drape, but mostly it was a lovely pattern. It beautifully combines both black and brown, which I love doing in winter and autumn, just combining black and brown, but I have never been able to find a fabric that is similar to that. All of the ones I can find that have both black and brown also have an accent color. So a yellow stripe or a red stripe going through. So I went there looking for something to replace that with. I was also hoping maybe to find a th bit of a warmer material because that skirt is cotton, just a cotton weave. And I would love to maybe find a wool or something. There wasn't anything that came even close to that. A had lots of uh, cotton jersey on sale or wool blends with poly. So yeah, I wasn't able to find any fabrics there. I did, however, buy a bunch of buttons. And honestly, I don't think I've ever been this excited about buttons, but I found some really nice ones for specific projects, which is the best, because I have quite a stash of random buttons that I hope to use someday, but these all have a purpose almost all of them. Starting with the ones that don't necessarily have a purpose yet. These lovely little wooden buttons. I think these are so cute on little kids' clothes. So these are going to end up on Flores' clothes one way or another at some point. <laughs> so I got a bunch of those. Then I got these mustardy yellow ones that are going to go onto the baby sweater that I'm making for our friends. And then I got these lovely, simple, very classic buttons. But these are specifically meant to go on my winter coat. The winter coat that I made a few years ago, I actually have it right here. Uh, there are a bunch of videos of how I made this up on my channel, but it's this lovely winter coat with a full circle skirt. It's oh, one of the most beautiful items I've ever made, I think, and one of the most beautiful items in my wardrobe. And I love having this and wearing it every year. There is one thing that bothers me about it though, and that's the buttons. Uh, when I made this, I didn't have the right buttons. So I just put on these that I had, you know, was always planning to replace them at some point, never got around to it. However, the belt has this little clasp thing or like belt bu buckle <laughs> is what this is called in a completely different material. This has always bothered me so much. So the plan was always to eventually replace these plastic buttons with this same material of the buckle. So that is where these come in. These are perfect together. And I love how simple of a button this is. They had lots of different buttons and I was considering going for a really ornate uh, button. But then I thought, you know what? No, this is an item that needs to go with everything, it needs to work with a bunch of different styles. And I know myself, I will always end up preferring a simpler button. So I can't wait to do that. I'm hoping to maybe replace these 
this week even, because one of the buttons did fall off, so it needs repairing anyway. Might as well go in with these. So that's a project I'm really excited for. And then the last buttons that I got, I was actually considering using for this cardigan that I made a while back, that I knitted, because these buttons, I ordered these online, so I couldn't choose the ones that I wanted, and I'm not 100% sold on these. So I got, <laughs> which is not a simple button. So I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna do this yet, but I feel like this would first of all give the cardigan a completely different vibe. And I don't know, I feel like I might like this a little bit better. However, when I came home, I noticed, and these I did pick up myself, so it's my own fault. I noticed that while well, three of them are this lovely bright golden tone, one of them is a bit tarnished, one of them is different, and I got the exact amount that I was gonna need for this cardigan. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to see how bothered I am by that. But yeah, that is another thing I'm considering doing, switching these, I think these are horn or something. They were listed as wood on the website, and then when they came in, they were horn, which I would never have bought, which is another thing that bothers me. Part of me is thinking, are they maybe a little bit too much? So I'll have to try it out. What I am gonna do in any case is replace the ones on the coat, add the little yellow ones to the baby sweater, which I only have to do the sleeves now, and I need to be quick about it, because we're gonna see the new baby soon. <laughs> So it needs to be finished by then. So I definitely have my work cut out for me this week and hopefully I can get a bit of this done. We'll see once again how much baby lets me do <laughs> this week. This is such an upgrade. I feel like this coat finally looks finished and this was exactly what it needed. I love the way this looks. Those plastic buttons weren't it. Oh, what a relief <laughs> to have this done. Yeah, I just feel like all around it looks a lot better. This is definitely a star in my wardrobe. Instantly just improves every outfit that I wear and I love, love having it. And it's so warm as well. Oh yeah. I cannot say enough good things about this coat. I'm very proud of um, making this so early in my sewing journey as well. It's a great pattern. I will link to the videos in which I make this down in the description box so you can go check that out. And I'm fairly sure I have the pattern linked in the description there as well, or at least written down. I love this coat even more now with the proper buttons that it should always have had. I realized that when I was knitting the body of this little sweater, I completely forgot to switch to the larger needles. So it came out even tinier than it was already supposed to be, but that's okay. I have one more sleeve to go, hoping to finish this really soon so that I can get those buttons on there, block it, maybe try and stretch it out a little. <laughs> it's adorable, I love it. This is such a cute yarn as well. Almost finished, almost. I just received a really fun package in the mail. This box right here contains a yarn advent calendar, specifically one from Kenya's Knits. Kenya is a viewer of mine and she runs a sustainable hand-dyed yarn business. And this is the 2024 Gilmore Girls themed yarn advent calendar and I am just so excited. <laughs> 
I love her yarns in general. I know she has some A Court of Thrones and Roses inspired yarns. I spotted some Critical Role ones and it, it, yeah. <laughs> really cute names, lovely, lovely colors. Okay, this is really cute. There's some coffee, little Gilmore Girls sticker. Just because I'm really excited, let's open the first yarn. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm losing light here, but it's really, really pretty. This color is called Hi Mom. I see some purples and lavenders and grayish blue. It's really pretty. Oh, I can't wait to open the rest of these. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kenya. I will leave a link to um, her page down below. This is just the cutest thing ever. cute. I really hope it's not too small because it's very very tiny but I'm gonna try and block this as big as I can. Isn't this just adorable? I will link once again to the pattern I use for this in the description box. It's a free pattern. It whips up really quickly. It's a very simple pattern but so adorable. I love the buttons with it. I think it's really cute. And I can continue working on my wrap cardigan now. It's been a while. I'm really excited to get back to that. I only have the sleeves left for that one as well and the um, wrap around cord. But yeah, that one is finished. And I think this is where I'm going to end for this week. So thank you so much for hanging out with me again. Hope you had a good time. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you again next week. Mm -hmm.